Ron and Schmidt. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Birdwell, distinguished members, I'm Larry Lennon Schmidt, speaking as an individual. I'm executive director of the Hill Country Institute, a faith-based Christian nonprofit, and a volunteer with the Citizens Climate Lobby, along with 11,000 other Texans. Cement is a basic component of economic growth in Texas and around the world. However, it's a major pollution source with numerous strong pollutants emitted from production, along with significant noise pollution. It is damaging to the health of Texas Texans to place cement plants in residential areas. As a Christian, I think you need the wisdom of Solomon to address these issues today because you're getting so many different opinions. But also, I look at Matthew 2540 as a guide to how we should care for others, particularly the poor who live in areas of intense pollution. Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. I suggest you require cement plants be located at least three miles from existing and planted approved residential areas to protect and preserve the health of Texans. Also, please do not allow additions to existing cement plants within that range. The negative health, health outcomes caused by pollution from cement manufacturing are not consistent with being pro-life. Life is precious from conception through natural death. The pollutants are of immense harm to mothers, babies in the womb, and the elders, elderly, as well as other citizens. The cost of health care from these pollutants is adding to the health cost burden borne by individuals, insurers, and the state of Texas. It is morally wrong to make some people's homes sacrifice zones for the profits of others. If the cement industry were a country, it would be the third largest emitter of carbon dioxide in the world, after the U.S. and China. This is why cement production is one of the industries targeted for emissions reductions in the Texas Climate Pollution Reduction Grants Priority Action Plan. And it's much longer, the, the, the report itself is much longer than that long title. Therefore, when examining the impacts of permanent cement production plants, I encourage this committee to require these facilities to prioritize the decarbonization of their facilities. Texas can lead the world in decarbonization. My understanding of the best available science indicates the importance of re reaching global net zero heat tramping emissions by mid-century mid to limit global warming to maintain our health, economy, and living environments. Climate change is having a severe impact on Texas now, and it will grow. I'm interested to hear from the committee members if they agree, or if not, why? What is your understanding of the impact of continued accumulation of heat trapping gases in the atmosphere? What do you think it means for living conditions, health, and economic uh, opportunities for future Texans? I suggest you provide TCEQ with $2 million to develop a Texas State Climate Action Plan. I would be pleased to discuss these issues with you and your staff, and thank you again for this opportunity for the, to give these comments and for your consideration. Okay. Thank you, Larry. I greatly appreciate it. Hoo-ah. <laughs>